Hi guys, thank you for watching. So today what I'm going to talk about is my skincare routine, products that I use to absolutely eliminate my acne completely. Um, my skin is just looking the best it's ever looked and I really, really do give all the credit to these products that I'm going to show you. Um, I purchased them all myself. I'm not being sponsored for any of them. And <clears throat> I'll try to insert a picture of my skin, what it looks like now, and what it looked like just a few months ago, so you guys can really see the difference. Now, this is a requested video, and I have now I alternate between all of these products just so my skin can get the, the different benefits that each product offers. So, um, I'll show you all my products and what I use them for first, and then I'll at the end I will show you what my routine is that I use currently my toner mask, wash, all that good stuff, but my skin has just been in really great condition and if you watch my previous videos you'll know that I suffered with just acne, hormonal acne, which is really hard to get rid of, cystic acne, blackheads, <clears throat> whiteheads, and um, acne scarring, which I've almost cleared up 100%, which I'm really, really happy about actually. Okay, so I will start off with, oh, this is just, <laughs> this is my Hello Kitty headband that I put my hair back with before I wash or tone my face, so that's there. And, um, and I always, I wash my hands before I wash my face, but I also just, it's kind of a habit, I always just sanitize, just in case. I just like to make sure my hands are really clean before I'm touching my face and rubbing products in and stuff like that, so I'll just use Purell. And you guys know you can get that everywhere. And the Hello Kitty headband, if anybody wants to know, I got at Walmart. And it was like $2. It was on clearance. Sorry if, about the noise in the background. My heater's on and For some reason, it's been really, really loud. I'm going to have to get it looked at. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to start off with my wipes, my facial wipes that I like. Now, when I don't have the wipes that I'm about to show you, I just use these baby wipes. And I got these at Walmart. I forget the brand these are, the stickers and all that, but just, you know, your basic container of baby wipes. I do get the sensitive ones, and I get the um, unscented and the ones with just like aloe in them, so there's no irritation. I find that the ones that are scented sometimes can burn my eyes, so I just get the regular unscented ones, and those are just a couple dollars. I literally go to the, um, the aisle where all the baby... <coughs> excuse me, the aisle where all the baby products are and diapers and things like that and just pick up baby wipes, the fragrance free ones. And um, then these are the wipes that I'm currently using and I've used for a while. This is a new pack that I recently just uh, purchased and it's, um, I don't know if it's Bloom or Blum Naturals and it's exfoliating daily cleansing towelettes with microbeads. <clears throat> And 10 come to a pack. Uh, it contains organic uh, orange peel extract, which is kind of gives you a nice, um, a nice exfoliation as well as a, cl a cleanse when you use them. And they're all natural. I really do like them. They don't burn my eyes. Uh, let's see what they say. Microbeads to help to clean and lift away dead skin cells. So. And the ingredients is water, organic orange peel, aloe vera, glycerin, and two other ingredients that I can't pronounce, so I won't try, but let me try to focus it. There we go, so you can see if these will work for you. They are synthetic, no preservatives, paraben free, alcohol free, hypoallergenic, pH balance, not tested on animals. I really try to use majority, 90% of my products that aren't tested on animals. <clears throat> That's important to me, but I do have products here that I'm not 100% of there aren't. Okay, so these are just really nice wipes. They come like this. And they're nice. I like them. And I, got, I get these at my local grocery store, and they do go on clearance a lot, and I got them for $3, so they're not bad. So those are the wipes I use. Now, um, I'll move on to cleansers. And like I said at the end, I'm going to show you guys my current, um, focus that, my current 
routine that I use, but I'm just showing you all the products that I alternate between. Okay, so one of my favorite scrubs that I like is Burt's Bees. You can get this at Walmart, and it's not super cheap, but it's also not very expensive, and this has lasted me for a very long time. It has crushed almonds in it, I'm pretty sure, and orange extract, and it's kind of like a paste. It looks like that. It smells really nice, and I really, really like it. Um, I think I might have glycerin in it, because after I use it and I'll massage it on my face, my face will just have a really nice youthful glow. If I don't use a toner afterwards, or much on it after, the glow lasts all day, and it's really, really pretty, really natural. So I really do like this as a natural exfoliating exfoliator. So that's Burt's Bees. You get that at Walmart, <clears throat> um, wherever else they carry Burt's Bees. And I use this occasionally, the St. Ives Fresh Skin. Um, this isn't the acne one. This is just the apricot scrub, invigorating. You get this at Walmart, a couple dollars. I've used this for a few years. Um, I used it more when I was a teenager, and it's not bad. It's a little bit drying for my skin now because my skin is a little bit more used to natural products, but when I feel that I need to really just exfoliate my skin, the pieces of, I'm pretty sure it's probably the apricot shell there, in it um, really does give it a nice scrub. It's only a couple dollars and it uh, it's an award winner from Allure, so if that says anything. <clears throat> so that's the scrub, and then another cleaner cleanser that I'm using I uh, alternate is the Neutrogena Fresh Foaming uh, Cleanser, and this actually came in a kit with three other products, which I have the other one I'll show you, but the eye cream I don't have actually ran out. But this is a makeup remover and cleanser in one for freshly cleansed skin, and the kit wasn't too much actually. It was definitely under 20. I really do like this cleanser. Um, it does take everything off, so I only use a little bit. And it doesn't burn my eyes at all. Soap free, alcohol free, oil free, uh, hypoallergenic, dermatologist tested, so that's always good. I do like this one. I use it, you know, like I said, I alternate between them. Okay, so I think those are, so those three are all the cleansers that I've been using for months now, and I really, really enjoy them. Um, now moving on to, let's see, we'll do toners. So, okay, where is my, there it is. So this is, I think this is the only toner that I'm showing, yeah. This is the one that I've used for a while, and it's the Aubrey uh, brand. It's the Blue Green Algae, and it's with grapeseed extract, facial toner, combination oily skin, number four. Let's focus that. And I wanted to show the ingredients in the back. It just has a lot of really good natural ingredients that really, um, helped with my acne and just really uh, ba balanced out the um, the pH of my skin. I really enjoy it. I did purchase this off of drugstore.com, but I saw it at my local Whole Foods, and they have a whole line of these toners, different kinds, some for sensitive skin, some for regular skin, dry skin, and this one's for oily skin, so I really do enjoy it. I'm practically out, so I'm going to be getting, um, I'm going to try to get at least two more soon, because I really do like this one. So that's the toner I've been using for a long time. and. On drugstore.com, it was only four or five dollars. On my local Whole Foods, it's about a ten or eleven dollars, but it has lasted me a really long time. If this video goes too long, I will make a part two because it's it's already getting there. Okay, so toner moisturizer. Okay, so real quickly, um, this is black label, and uh, you can go to modskinlabs.com if you want to see their products. Right there. And this is a serum, and it just basically has a little bit of aloe and different vitamins in it. This is a new bottle. I have another one I use in the bathroom, but I do like this product a lot. Um, the best thing I like about this product is I notice that it tightens my skin before I apply makeup. And I use it in the summertime because it is kind of like a gel. It doesn't... Um, it doesn't, it doesn't make my makeup slide off my face and it really does help with puffiness and just really tightens my skin overall. Not 100% what it has in it that it does that, but I've noticed that and I really like it. And if, if you go online again, I'm sure you can read all about these products, but I like that as a moisturizer, especially in the summertime. Okay, another moisturizer that I like is, that is a gel as well is from Derma, Vitamin A Wrinkle Treatment Moisturizing Gel. And this is vitamin A in it. Um, this has not broken me out at all. 
paraben free, eco friendly, cruelty free. Um, I'm really trying to switch over all my products and my body creams, just all natural, just because of the level of chemicals that they put in everything nowadays. So I'm slowly transitioning and doing that, and I just like to spread the word. I just I think it's important what we put on it in our bodies, but that's just my opinion. Um, okay, so this is a vitamin A wrinkle treatment. This also gives my face a nice tightening effect uh, before I apply my makeup, which is nice, and. Um, I feel that it helps with the oil in my skin also. And I actually purchased this at TJ Maxx. They had it there, believe it or not. But if you go online, they have a whole, um, they have their whole line on there. And also, I'm pretty sure you can get some of these products at your local Whole Foods, the Trader Joe's, places like that, or even your local co-op or something like that. And this was only a couple, this is about uh, $5 at TJ Maxx, so it was a decent price. Okay, so another um, moisturizer, this is one that I've been using a lot, is this. This came with the cleanser over here, I'll show you. That was a kit I was telling you about, and then an eye cream came with it, but I ran out. And um, where did I get that? I forget where I got that kit. If anybody wants to know, just comment down below, and I'll figure it out. Okay, so this is a Healthy Skin Anti-Wrinkle Cream, a retinol facial treatment with multivitamins. This, um, this I feel helped a little bit with scarring because it has retinol in it. It really kind of just uh, gently exfoliates your skin. I use it sparingly and I, I, um, I use it often on between the other moisturizers over there is what I'm trying to say. But I really do like it and I like it. it be, the SPF 15 in it, it has a really nice natural glow so when I, sometimes I'll mix this with some of my foundation and it just looks really really pretty. It gives me that natural glow without it looking too fake or without it um, being too sparkly. So I really enjoy this product. Um, okay so another moisturizer. I, I purchased this at Walgreens. This was actually very expensive but I did get it on clearance. I think it runs for 20 anywhere between 20 and 30 dollars. It's from Dermasilk, anti-wrinkle, rejuvenating cream, nine active beauty restoring ingredients. Um, I do like this, but it's a little bit, um, it's very, very moisturizing. So I would recommend this for somebody who has uh, more dry skin and not uh, oily skin. It don't, I don't think it broke me out, but I could just feel it was a little bit too heavy for my skin. I actually think I'm going to give this one to my mom. Um, because our skin is more mature, I think it can actually handle the level of moisture that it offers. Uh, I got this for $3 when it was on clearance. I was not willing to pay that much, but it is a good product and I do like it. If you go online, you can read all about it. They have other products, which I'm going to, I have one of there. I'm going to show you in a minute. Such as Dermasilk. It's a nice product, but it's too much moisture for my face right now. And I'll show you the other product real quick. This is the, this was $20, but I did not pay that. I got it for like $2, $3 when it was on the big clearance. Instant eye lift. And dramatically lifts and opens eyes. Dermasilk. I don't know exactly what's in it. Um, it does tighten the eye area. I mean, it doesn't tighten it really well. I would honestly say that my Derma gel over there and this gel tightens my face better. Um, it's definitely not worth uh, $20, I think it was, at all. I would never pay full price. But, um... I mean, I got it for $2, so I can't complain. It does tighten a little bit. So that's that. And, okay, so another moisturizer I use. I'll use this at night. I don't use this in the daytime. This is extra virgin olive oil. I'll put it on my face and sleep with it. Sometimes I'll just put a towel over my face because it is an oil and it does spread. But I really like the benefits. Uh, go ahead and Google the benefits of olive oil for your face, your hair, your body, uh, in and out. It's just really, really great. If anybody wants to know more about olive oil or coconut oil for that fact, just leave a comment down below and I'll do a video on it. But it's just really, really great. And I'll use that one uh, only at nighttime. It's just too much to use in the day with makeup and all that. And another moisturizer that I use is... I So the olive oil you can get at Whole Foods or any store. Um, this is pure African shea nut butter and I purchased this at my local Whole Foods and um, I use this on my face occasionally on my lips. It's just uh, shea butter just has so many beneficial qualities in it. If you want to google it, um, just a list or if you guys want me to do a video on it, I can do it. Just comment down below but I really do like that. And lastly, we're we getting there. Yep, okay. So this is my other moisturizer that I use organic coconut oil and this is a moisturizer that I will use at night because it is an oil and it just doesn't do well on the face and the day under makeup I feel um, and I just purchased this at my local Whole Foods I think Walmart might be selling some spectrum 
the brand Spectrum Organic Coconut Oil. I heard, but I'm really not 100%. But I really do like coconut oil. I use it in my hair as a hair mask um, and all that good stuff. So those are the moisturizers. So you saw toners, cleansers, moisturizers. Okay, let me move on to masks. Now I'm just going to show you this real quickly. This is a sample. I've had a couple of these samples. It's a ap apple brightening, sorry, brightening peel, and it's all natural. And I really, I wanted to show you this because I really do like it. It's really gentle, and after I've used this for about two weeks, I've just noticed my face just really looking clearer with any spots or anything like that. And this was just a sample. I've pr I got a couple of them, and you can get this at um, probably online and also at your local Whole Foods store, so I do like that. Okay, and as far as masks, what I use is this mask. I forgot this at Rite Aid. It was on sale. Anti-Aging Skin Renewal Clay Mask. I really do enjoy it. Um... And I don't think I've paid full price for this one. I think I got it on sale. And I was actually at Rite the other day. They still have these there. Uh, it's clay, plant-based, um, anti-oxidizing uh, green tea. Lots of good stuff in there you can read. It's a quick mask, too. I use it for about 10 minutes, which I really like. So, it's nice. Um, okay, now as far as other masks, masks that I do, this is Indian Healing Clay, and I got this in my local Whole Foods store. And I will mix it with um, apple cider vinegar and water, and it just really does tighten my pores and really pulls everything out. And I keep it on for about a good 30 minutes, and then I'll just take a shower because it is a little bit messy. Um, I like to just do a really good clean to get it off, but it just looks like that. The color is just kind of gray. Um, the smell is just neutral. It really doesn't smell too bad, and that was about $7. You can get it cheaper, um, I heard. But you know, it's the product is tons in there, so it's gonna last you it's gonna last me forever. So I really do like that. And then another mask that I do use is this green clay, 100 percent natural French cooling green clay. And I got this at my local Whole Foods and it wasn't too expensive as well. It's now this clay is just a little bit green. It's very fine and you can mix it with water. Um bunch of different things. If you have acne prone skin, apple cider vinegar, just basically anything. So when I have time, more time, I'll be able to use these two masks and let them just sit. And they really do uh, rejuvenate the skin and cleanse deep in, into your pores, into the pores. Okay, so those were all the masks that I used. Let me see. Anything else? Okay, I just wanted to show you guys these real quick. The Biore strips. I'll use these occasionally if I, if I have an event to go to or something like the night before. I do like the Biore facial strips, but what I noticed is, they I do see stuff on the strips and they do clean out my pores. But then my pores just fill up with, you know, stuff the next day. So it's important to definitely tone your skin after you use these. And I mean, I'll use them once in a while, like I said, if I have an event to go to, because they do clear up your skin and kind of. Um, your pores look smaller. So I, I use those once in a while. Okay, so now I'll show you guys what I am using now um, currently in my routine. Let me focus. Okay, so I'll start off with this. I use these. Um, I haven't been using the baby wipes. I've been just sticking to these and I really like these. And in the morning I will wash my face with this with the Burt's Bees Citrus Facial Scrub. Um, I really do like this. I use this in the morning. It just uh, wakes me up, just really rejuvenating, so I really enjoy that. And then for our toner, I use this, the Aubrey. And if I run out of this, what I will use is a mix of uh, equal parts water and apple cider vinegar and just put it in a bottle like this or a glass one and use it on my face if I run out of this. But I really do like that. And for a moisturizer, what I'm using, so at nighttime what I'm using is my olive oil. And in the daytime what I'm using currently is the Neutrogena. Now come summer, I won't be using this. I will be using this with, um, I will get an SPF, something with SPF in it because this really does um, work well in the summertime and this is just fine in the winter. So those two. Oh, I forgot to show you guys one little face wash that I do use occasionally. This is a smaller size, the Bliss. Uh, fabulous foaming face wash. It has uh, rose hips, chamomile, and passion flower in it. Really nice. Okay, so those are the moisturizers I use. 
and about, I will try twice a week to do my masks between them. Um, so I just think it's important. I really do see a difference in my skin with any breakouts or anything like that. So that's what I will do. And at nighttime, sometimes I'll alternate between the olive oil and the coconut oil to moisturize my face. And I think that's it, guys. If you want to know anything more about these products or you want any reviews or any videos on the benefits of um, like the natural products I have here, just let me know, and I, will, I would love to do that. And I think that's it. So that's my routine and all the products that I use. Okay, guys. Thanks a bunch for watching. Bye.